Okay, folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. I could actually just land straight in a, a jelly thing. Landing pad. I need... Floor is too steep, can't afford. I don't like it over there. But I mean, if I was to build a little bit of foundation, I could build a jelly landing pad down there, and I could do this. Yeah, I'd try that. This, uh, if, if I used to drop, look, see? If I, if I was to drop a foundation, like that, it's a long way down. It's very difficult to judge the, the distance and the heights from here. Floor is too steep, can't afford. Let's build a bit more jelly landing pad space. Right. I've got a platform down there now. That platform is a long way down. Missing biomass times 200 can't afford. That is the only thing that's stopping me now from building that. I, I want to jump. I <laughs> really, really just want to jump straight down. You know what else we need to do? We need to we need to bring the power up. Let's let's um let's do the power as a, a minute down here. So I've got a power line there. I'll bring it up to here. Oh, I can. Right, wire is too long, but it's not too long there. That's that's actually perfect there. And I go up to that point, and then I'll bring you over to here like this and. Yes! Fantastic! Right, I can put power down there. Just like that. I can do that much. Now, ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe I don't need a jelly landing pad. Maybe I can do it like this. We put a conveyor pole. There, like that. And then... Put that. Too steep and too long. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. That is invalid aim location. That's, that's definitely not going to work. We're, we're, we're not doing that with a conveyor belt. Okay, so scrap that one. So how am I going to get back up here? I think I'm going to have to just do a long run all the way home. I was I was wanting to test out my new conveyor belt. I'm going to ha Actually, I'm going to have to do that now because um, of the whole... We, we'll be dismantling that at the end. So if I run down here a minute, I can jump onto that. Get onto the conveyor belt right here, and we can run that one back home. Look. If I... Running doesn't make it any faster. I just, literally, I can sit here and I can ride the conveyor belt all the way back without having to do anything at all. It's actually pretty cool. If I go sideways. Yes! It does work. I can just turn round as I am. Makes no difference whatsoever. I just I just get ferried along at a very nice rate of knots. This is awesome. This is genuinely brilliant. And then we go all the way down here, the end of our conveyor belt. Right, I am I am pleased with this bit. Runs me down here and off the end like that. Okay, perfect. Now Biomass. I need 200 biomass for a jelly landing pad, which will get me down to the bottom of the thing that we're trying to get to, but then after that we may still have some problem. Right. In there. Exactly 200 biomass. That is everything that I want from there. I'll go and take some more concrete. Actually, I don't suppose I need to bother about more concrete. We just need to get the jelly landing pad built, and then go back the other way so that we can get that hard drive. That's that's the only thing I'm after at the moment is getting that one hard drive. Once I've got that one, then we'll go and worry about other bits. But I now need to do the other long run all the way back this way. Now I'm going to take that one off there a minute and I'm just going to do another one. Two sections out to there and then wait there and 
two sections bring it to there. That brings it to there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring it to there. And we'll stop that for a minute. We'll, we'll just leave it right where it is. I've got power all the way through. The power is connected up. So all i got to do now is run all the way back again down to the other end. Then we will get the hard drive out of that thing down the bottom because we've got we've got power connected to it and we've got everything else that we want and then we'll take that hard drive and run it all the way back there is another hard drive on the cliff over that side but i'm not going to worry about that one for a minute because that one last time i was up there it was surrounded by natural gas and that's probably not in our best interests we've done surprisingly well building such a long run all the way down through here like, it, it, it's taken a, a long time to get this far, and I'm, I am quite pleased with how well we've done with it. So bring that one over to there, and now I've got that one up there, which we know is surrounded by gas, but I mean, there's still a chance that I might be able to get to it, if we've got the right materials to be able to crack the thing open. Um, right, it might, yeah, actually, I have to, I'm, I'm pretty sure, now that I think about it, that it was actually power that was needed. But there we go, we've got 200 biomass. And we've got the jelly landing pad, which we can put down here as well. So then all I need to do is do that and take a power line from there and connect it onto there. And it's now powered up. Now I can't get back up here. But I can completely miss. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. That was way too far. That 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 was I was completely off with that one. Which means I gotta do a run back in the other direction. Wait a minute, what's this? The analysis of hard drive is complete. Select your desired reward. Alternate blueprint enriched coal. Enriched coal. Sulfur and coal. There. Compacted coal. A much more efficient alternative for coal used as fuel. Uh, that is copper ore, alternate iron ingot. One iron ore and one copper ore gives three iron ingots. Or that one there, quick wire. And those, deuterium circuit boards. Standard recipe is 12 copper and 6 oil to make that. And this is using the deuterium wire, which we don't seem to use a lot of. I'm thinking that one. I'm thinking that could be pretty cool. Though I like the sound of the coal. We've got other fuel generators that we'll be getting later as well, won't we? So we'll take that one for now. That one right there and confirm. Okay. So I've got another one available at some point. I've got nothing on me at the moment. The jetpack that... Yeah. Uh, right, well... I had everything over there. I can either run along the the sky bit. There's no point in running along the sky bit, is there? I need to get back onto the, the, the bottom bit, I think. Right, let's let's go over this way. Uh, so I got a long run all the way back, but now I'm not able to run as fast. Because I, I just jumped. I just I instead of like jumping all the way out, I just just kind of jumped from right where I was standing and that didn't work as well. Maybe Maybe there is another way to do this. Maybe there is. Maybe I could. I just need to bring that platform back a little bit closer than what it was previously. This is going to be a long run. Uh, while I'm running, I can at least scan for the quartz, which is 700 meters in front of us. It's actually just up on the first set of the hill, if I remember correctly. Uh, the other side of all those gas nodes. So we are heading in the right direction, but we've got to get past all of the gas. Now, some people have said that it is actually possible to blow up the gas nodes. And if this is true, that's a very good thing. Let's do that again so that we scan again to the closer one. Get a rough idea of just how close we are to it now. 400 meters. It's literally just through... It, it's literally just through there. And... 300... Yeah, we're going to be less than 300 meters away in a minute. Right. Now, there's our crate down there, which is us. 
I've got no materials on me at the moment, but what I can do is I can remove that one and I can remove that one so that I've got two lots. And then I can build one there and one there. And I can dismantle that one. Dismantle the pole. That one and that one. Can I dismantle these so that they float? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Right. Well, that's a real step in the right direction, that is. So I will go to here like this. I'll put one there. Put one there. And I'll put one there. And then I will go to uh, number two off of here. Put a power line down there like that. And then finally we will go to organization landing pad right there. Take some power and join you up. Right. I'm going to have to jump out a fair way, I think. That's more like it. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right. I've, I've still got a fair way to jump down, but I should be able to get across these bits. Over there. Oh, that was close. That was seriously, seriously close, that was. Right, I've now got everything that I want, which is that one on the body. And then we can put that in our hand. We can put that one in our hand. I won't worry about the chainsaw for a minute. And I'll take that one. Uh, right. Let's move over to these. Eat those up there like that, and then we'll go back into here like this, and I'll put that one down there like that. Right, now, that's a very long way up there. Can I get up there without any assistance? I'm stuck on this bit of cliff right here, which is probably not the easiest cliff to be stuck on in the first place. I think we can do this. If I, yeah, I can drop a conveyor pole down here. Put one there, and then I'll just go with one of those. Too steep. Hmm. Right, well, scrap that. I'll drop... Instead, I'll put the conveyor pole up the top. If I can... Yes, I can. Floor is too steep. Hmm. I need you to be... I, I need to be able to put a conveyor pole up there in order to be able to make this work. Can I get round here? On this side, maybe? Uh, careful going down there. Right. Floor too steep. Too steep, apparently. No. See, I can put it down here. And then it goes floor too steep all the way through. And I can't... Oh, there. Turn it. Like that. And then go onto here like this. And bring you down here like this. Conveyor belt is too steep. I don't want you to be too steep. That is... Unfortunately, a rather steep conveyor belt. There doesn't seem to be a lot that I can do about this. Uh, all right, option B. Option B we'll go for. We'll dismantle that one like that. And I'll come over here. And I will build a foundation. There. Part way up like that. Right. Get rid of you. And I need to try and jump up onto that foundation. Okay. Okay. I can't jump up onto the foundation, but I can build a ramp right there. Can I build a ramp onto the front of it? Ah, uh, I see. Right. But I can do that. I can get up onto there, so then I can remove you. And... Right, we can't get up there. 
but I can build more foundation. Floor is too steep. Oh, I can build it up there. Build another piece of foundation up there. Go, go, go. Yes, excellent. Right, we can jump up and we can take that one away. And then I can come over to here. And I can get up onto there. Remove that piece down there. I'm cooking on gas now, ladies and gentlemen. We're do- Oh, 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 oh. Steady. Steady. Don't fall down. Don't, don't. Don't lose control. Do not lose control. Not at this point. That's... I need to dismantle all of that now. We don't want any of that over there. That's got to go. It's not going to do me any good down there. Actually, no, I can't jump up that high with a um, launch pad. So all that's going to happen is I'm going to end up um, dying from it. So we'll leave that for a minute. Although, thinking about it, it, it might be something that would have been useful. Um, even if it was just to run a bit of power over to us. Uh, so we might need a power cable onto there to be able to do this. Ooh, we've got concrete beams. we got wire. i got more iron plates over there. More concrete beams, a reinforced kind. There was a slug that I seen somewhere along that side. But it's not one I'm going to concern myself with right now. I'll leave that for now. Right, open drop pod around this side. There doesn't seem to be any other materials just kicking around. Open repairs needed. Needs 20 megawatts pod damaged. Motor received. Battery broken. Right, motors, right there. Yeah. I gotta have power. Which means I gotta get power down from all the way up there. Which is why I was thinking I might uh, invalid aim location. Yeah. Might have wanted to keep that. Oh no. I can reach you. And you get down to here as well. Ideal. Right. This is actually working out quite nicely. So we bring this one up here and connect power onto there like that. And then I can go back over to the drop pod and open you up like this. So we've now got 48 motors on there. And that gives me a hard drive. Excellent. It did cost me some motors. But that's a, a small price to pay. Let's pick up that power pod, that, that one right there. You can't dismantle any parts of this, can you? No. Right, now go to open. Yeah, so it does use up the motors. You don't get to have them back. And there's no real way that I could expect to get back up there. I'm going to have to run all the way home. Which is going to take us a little while. I've got to be careful about where we go and how we land and stuff like that. But I'm reasonably confident that I can get down from here and then run home. Oh, he says. Uh, <laughs> this might not be as easy as I was hoping. I can't jump that distance even with my special legs. Right. Hey, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, tiger. Um... Have a look over this side. Have I got any way down here? No way down there. No, that's the that's the entrance to the cave, actually. Right, slug over that side. I'd be better off trying to jump down. No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay, it's all right. Right, there's the slug over that side. If I go back up here... I need to get back up there. I'll do that with a foundation. I'll do it like this. I'll do a, a, a foundation jump like that. Um, I'm sure I can do it. Yes, there we go. Nice and easy like that. And I'll do another such a jump here. Bring that 
out onto the edge. Now, which way am I going to go with this? I'm going to make this as safe as I possibly can. I can't go up there. That's not helpful because it's too high. Hmm. Okay, plan B. I'll simply place a piece of foundation there like that. And then I'll place a piece like that. I'll jump up onto this one. Whoa, right. I can't do that, but I can go for another plan B. I can put a piece onto there. And then I can go out this way. And I can put another piece onto there. And that should be high enough. So I can go over here at least and remove those three. That one, that one, and that one. They're all gone. And then I can come up here and jump. And then I can remove those because I don't want them there anymore. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And then we go up here. Now we're going to go a little bit careful. I didn't think it would be so difficult just to be able to, like, get down from a place. I suppose I should have realised nothing in this game is quite as straightforward as you'd hope. Jump over here. Right, well, I'm at least over onto this bit. Now, where is that slug? Is it? But that's a long way down. That is a long way down. The slug is... Further over. Hmm. Where is it? It's, it's down there, isn't it? Or is it up over there? It's getting dark. I can't see. I don't like the dark. Can I jump up here? Oh, I can. Sort of. Go, go, go. We do this sort of um, Skyrim style. That's what we want. We're going we're gonna to do Skyrim style now. It's a bit like Gangnam style. Just ever so, sli <laughs> ever so slightly different. It's not quite Gangnam style. It's a better style. It's where you just mash the spacebar right up against the cliffs. Many of you will be familiar with Skyrim style. Many, many of you will be familiar with Skyrim style. If you're not, I do suggest that you try it. All right, I absolutely suggest that you try it. Go, go and install Skyrim, and then and you'll understand what I mean. Try and climb a mountain. Skyrim style on a mountain. There is there is no style quite. And there it is. There's the beastie that I wanted. I want to get over there. How far down is that? That's a long way. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that was close. Right. Green? After all that, it's a green power slug. But I, I, I still need to get down this cliff anyway. Right, it should... My health should heal up. I've got one bar right there on the health. It should start to heal up and it should go to three bars and then I can eat some stuff just to, to heal me up the, the last few levels. Is that another slug all the way over there? Right, I got another long drop down here. I don't think there's another slug out there. I need to get down there next. Right. Go to you. And eat those up. Right. Over this way. Walk off the edge. Don't jump so that I don't give myself any more height than I've absolutely got to. That allows me to come down here in stages. And I'm over to this bit. I get down onto there. No extra damage coming down from there. I'm very pleased to say no extra damage at all. That is actually quite fantastic. Let's take you. Like that. And move you out. Right. i got to run all the way back to the base. We'll put our hard drive going. And then i got to run all the way back out again on our road up there. That wasn't so bad. Took a little while to run up, but it wasn't so bad. It's a lot quicker when you've got the actual um, the speed boost, the, the, the running legs, the blade runners. That definitely makes a significant difference instead of trying to run along with nothing at all. Because you foolishly plunged to your death at the bottom. But we haven't done that this time. Right. Into the MAM once again. And we don't have any supercomputers. We don't have any crystal oscillators, but we do have a hard drive. Look at 
There. There we go. Begin analysis. That one takes 10. And I'll come out of there. And I'll go over to here. And I will deposit the slug. I will deposit those. I will keep that one. I will also keep the chainsaw. And I'm going to keep that just in case we do need that. Is there anything else that I want to get rid of? Nine Caterium wire. Am I going to want Caterium wire? There's a possibility that I might. So I'll hold on to it just in case. Probably I, I, I do have a, a stack of coal there that I don't technically need. Uh, we'll see how much space the concrete is going to take up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. Right, that, that's, that's not going to take up too much space at all. So I will grab all of the concrete. We will grab everything else. And then we will run over here and kaboom. Right, so we've got a third hard drive being uh, analyzed. We know where a fourth one is, but that's in a gas field. So that's going to take a, min a little bit before we can actually access that one. But we at least know where it is. Now, we're only 300 meters away from the crystal spot. And having the crystal is going to be great, but it's not the crystal that we're ultimately going for on this run. No, what I want... Oops. I need to do that. I don't know what I'm scanning at the moment. Uh, it's crude oil that I want. So I run out of scan on that one. I think the first scan might have been going for... Oh, maybe it was going for oil. But there's the oil right there. So that one is... 2,000 and 2,000 meters away over there. And then that one's 2,000 meters directly in front of us. But with the one that's 2,000 meters in front of us over there. And then I got some raw quartz here. That one looks like it's up on that cliff. Whereas the raw quartz is out over that side. So the quartz should be relatively simple to go and get. Is it going to ping yet? I've already pinged it. Oh, there it is. It's pinged. Right. 600 meters away. So we're, we're right on top of that quartz. We just want to get up on top of that first bit of cliff there. And we'll be able to access that bit. And then we're going to need to go up a little bit higher on the cliff in order to be able to go up over there. But I've started bringing the level of this one up too late. So we're not actually going to be able to benefit from it right now. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to stop right here. I'll remove that one, like that, and I want to do this. We've got a ramp that we want to put down, like that. And then we want to start going up with the foundation again. So I'm going to put you here, and put you there, and I want to start working upwards like this. Um, on the plus side, we have now gone and got the hard drive from the piece down below. It's all taken care of, so we're not going to need to do that again. And go up here. Bring you out through. And another one. And yes, we got a hard drive over there that we could try and aim for. And oh, it looks like there's another strange thing over there. Quite sure what that strange thing is, but it's not what I'm going to worry about right now. I want to keep going upwards. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get up soon enough in order to be able to make this work. We might have to try going up two sections of foundation at a time. I could do that. It might mean dismantling some of the foundation that I've already built, which would be a little bit of a shame, but it's not the end of the world, I don't think. It's not like I'm going to be like running out of materials and having to go back and get more. Yeah, like that, and then you up. Yeah, and we've got gas there as well. And I, I want to avoid going onto the gas. So I've either got to turn the corner, go up this way, and then carry on round. And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.